Alright y'all, it's a really nice day out, and if you notice, I got these pieces of plywood down here under my bus. I'm adding a new new thing in. It's called a an auxiliary transmission. So what's going to happen? Let me get under here really good. Underneath the bus, there's my uh, Dixie air horns. <laughs> so right there is the back of the Allison. And you can see this drive shaft coming off. And if you look right, and that's my straight pipe too. Don't tell anybody I'm not running a muffler anymore. If you look right up there, those holes right there are for a, a U-shaped hook like the one right there. I've taken it out because this front section of drive shaft here is going to come off. And in place of it, right here by the end, there's going to be another transmission. And it's a four-speed auxiliary transmission. And what that means is that it has four gears. It does not have reverse gear because these it's turned by the Allison, the automatic. So the Allison is going to turn this drive shaft right here, which is going to go into the front of the auxiliary transmission, which is going to be somewhere right here. It's a short transmission. It's made by Spicer and it's a four-speed manual and there's not going to be a clutch and some of y'all are going to ask me well John how do you how are you going to shift gears in this thing without a clutch well if you if any of y'all are familiar with driving semi trucks uh, they don't use the clutch to shift gears when they're driving they float gears and that that's a process where you match the engine speed to what it's supposed to be so you take the you take it out of gear in a neutral when you're shifting gears and and as the engine speed comes down you want to match it to what it's going to be spinning at when you go into the next gear so if you know it's going to be spinning at 1500 rpms when you are theoretically in the next gear then you're going to take your engine speed down to 1500 rpms and if you do it correctly it will go into the next gear as if you actually use the clutch so uh so it will be floated in the the uh, the manual is going to be floated while driving now when it's sitting still the only reason you use the clutch when sitting still is because your transmission is connected to your engine way up there and your engine is always turning so you can't stop the engine so you step on the clutch to disengage the engine from the transmission well when you're stopped that's the output shaft of the automatic transmission so when you're stopped that's not turning so the manual should go into gear no problem while it's stopped because this drive shaft's not going to be turning to make it make it have to have a clutch so that'll be easy enough and uh, so this four speed manual auxiliary transmission or brownie box that some people call them it has four gears it has a double low gear which is similar to the low gear found in four wheel drive low on four wheel drive pickup trucks it's a crawling pulling gear then it has regular low, which is basically one step below the regular drive gear um, in it. And uh, the that low gear would basically take all of the gears in the automatic here and bump them back one, giving fourth down to third, third to second, second to first. And first would become a lower first, which would allow this to take off a lot faster. So basically it would give me a low first gear and fourth gear would be like third gear is now. Uh, the next gear in the auxiliary transmission is direct drive, which basically uh, it's just it's a regular one to one gear ratio. So that would basically make it as if the the auxiliary wasn't there. And then the fourth gear, and this is the gear that makes this transmission count. And the reason I'm putting it in is overdrive. And overdrive is supposed to bring the max speed on this bus theoretically up to about 72 miles an hour. It can go 60 right now because of the gearing. So with overdrive, I'll be able to go 70. And the way I'll shift this uh, transmission is I'll probably start it off either in direct drive or low and let the Allison do all of its shifting. And when it gets up to fourth gear, which is the last gear it shifts into, as soon as the engine winds up again, then I'll start shifting on the manual. Go from uh, low to, to drive to overdrive. So, and then right up there, that white thing up there is the the transmission access cover that's 
hanging down underneath the dashboard that my trash can sits on and we're gonna put the shifter right up through there it's uh, this this uh, auxiliary transmission has uh, uh, shift linkage similar to uh, that on a, a front-wheel drive car it's got a couple of arms that connect to the shifter that go into the transmission to shift the gear so uh, we'll mount the shifter on top of the Allison so it'll be kind of funny having a manual shifter bolted to the top of the automatic but and then the shift rods will just come all the way back here to the front of the transmission which should be somewhere around here I've already got the C channel cut there's a frame rail right there and it's gonna just rest right up here on this frame rail and we'll bolt it in with two bolts two very large bolts and then I have to get new drive shafts made just to replace this front section and then the second section there they're gonna put a new yoke which is what that u-joint right there is uh, connected to the thing in front of the uh, u-joint right there is called a carrier bearing and if you notice since I've got several sections of drive shaft going down there those carrier bearings keep it in a line otherwise it would just flop around while you're driving and you wouldn't get anywhere so so that's about it once again there's my uh, my lovely straight pipe uh, this is a 7.3 liter IDI engine so it does not have a turbo so it's quite loud and then this right here is uh, a little toy I added it's called an air dryer since I do have air brakes um, this air dryer uh, keeps me from having to yank this little cord right here that's connected to the uh, wet tank which drains the water out so uh, there's a couple other people on on YouTube that have school buses um, NS9987 uh, Matt he has a 87 International Bluebird bus that's very similar to in chassis to my 87 Thomas same engine transmission driveline um, and it has air brakes uh, he won't have this new transmission I'm putting in. But for those of y'all that want to know what kind of transmission is, it's a Spicer 7041 auxiliary transmission. Um, I'm not sure of the gear ratios. I know low gear, which uh, which is the the one right below direct drive, is 1.38 to one, I believe. Drive is one to one, and um, overdrive is 0.83 to 1 so um, but anyway so that's what I'm doing more videos to come thanks for watching